It's been almost one year since a toxic algae bloom affected 400,000 residents of Monroe County and Toledo by shutting down their drinking water supply. Well, now researchers say this summer's bloom is expected to be the most severe in recent years. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash has the latest on what researchers are saying about it now. U of M researchers are predicting a severe harmful algae bloom for Lake Erie, what could be the second most severe since 2011. They say heavy rainfall we saw in June is partly to blame. They do not need to worry about their drinking water at this point. The um, communities are prepared. They're very well prepared this year. We have let um, the state and all the public water suppliers know about what we expect. These kinds of toxic algae blooms often happen when algae grow in response to changes in chemicals in the water, sometimes from fertilizer components. Researchers say heavy rains in June produced a record discharge in nutrient loadings from the Maumee River. They say the 2015 Lake Erie bloom will likely measure around 8.7 on the severity index. To put it into perspective, last year's bloom was rated a 6.5. Last August, that toxic bloom led to the shutdown of the drinking water supply to 400,000 Michigan and Northern Ohio residents. Researchers say that was a wake up call as to how harmful the toxic algae blooms can be. But they say the bloom size doesn't necessarily correlate with public health risk. Wind direction and water temperature are also factors. Bottom line, the water will be watched closely as we head into mid July. A new Prakash, 7 Action News. The city of